Hi guys, my name's Tony Gray and welcome to week 8 of these weekly lessons. This week we're going to talk about the right hand muting technique. So I'm going to give you a couple of exercises with some variations to help you really get kind of loose and comfortable with this technique. And what you would do to get this technique is just take the right hand and where the palm is on the pinky side, just kind of place it before the bridge, just covering the strings. You don't have to press down really hard, but just kind of have it covering the strings. Then you can play with your thumb these open strings and you hear a nice muted sound. So one exercise you can do, it's kind of a warm-up exercise, is just alternate between the thumb and the pointer finger and just play chromatically across the fingerboard. Make sure you're alternating between the thumb and the pointer finger. And once you get to the 12th fret with your first finger, just start descending back down. Just one fret at a time. Until you get back to where you originally started. So the next exercise I want to look at is again alternating with the thumb and the pointer finger of the right hand. So let me play the exercise for you first and then we'll break it down. So it's just focusing on the first, second and third finger of the left hand and again alternating between the thumb and the pointer finger. So what I'm doing to start this exercise off with the open string, so it's open E and then pointer finger on that octave on the second fret of the D string, then thumb for that open D and then this B flat first fret of the A string with the pointer finger. And you would repeat this pattern exactly starting from the A string. From there, just move up to the first fret. So it's one, the fingering pattern on the left hand, one, three, one, two. Moving up a fret each time. Now it's a good idea to kind of work your way up to be able to use a metronome. So here's a metronome at 100 beats per minute, clicks two and four. When you get to the 12th fret, just start descending back down. Now the variation of that is you can just use the 2nd, 3rd and the 4th fingers. That way you're just strengthening other fingers in your left hand. And the variation that I want to show you with the right hand is I'm just going to play the first note of the pattern with the thumb 
and then just use the pointer finger for every other note. And again, you can change up between the first, second and third finger of the left hand to the second, third and fourth. So this last exercise has a groove to it, so it's a little bit of a more realistic situation of where you would use this technique. So I'm going to play the pattern for you first, and then we're going to get into the variations with the right hand. Once we get to the 12th fret, start descending back down. And then you will repeat from the A string. So this exercise is a two bar phrase and every bar we start moving up chromatically across the fingerboard. Now going into the second bar is an eighth note push on the and of four. So if we were going to clap it out it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one. And what we're doing with the right hand, we're just starting with the thumb, followed by the pointer finger, so it's... And then raking down two strings with the thumb. And ending on the pointer finger, so it's thumb, pointer finger, thumb, thumb, pointer finger. And then thumb, thumb, pointer finger, then rake again. Just using roots, octaves, fifths, and then flat and seventh. And the variation of that, instead of raking with the thumb, we're just going to alternate between the thumb and the pointer finger. So the last two notes will be pointer finger. So it's thumb, pointer finger, thumb, pointer finger, pointer finger. Okay, there's a document for you to download that explains all of this in detail. There's some practice tips in there. So basically have fun with this. Make sure you, you, you don't have to start with a metronome, but just kind of work your way to a metronome. It just makes you accountable for your time, you know, and just make sure the notes are nice and warm and even and just have fun with it. I hope this helped you and please join our mailing list if you haven't done so already. Share with your friends and we'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching.